live crafting with Angie with the Country Street Cottage and Carolina Moore with 30MinuteCrafts.com. Today we're going to do some live crafting for Thanksgiving and we're going to try to do some crafts in 10 minutes or less to show you that anyone can craft and um, you don't even, everyone says they don't have time to craft but uh, we're going to prove it wrong. So Carolina, anything to add and what are you going to do today? Well, we're doing this as part of the Handmade Thanksgiving series, and um, there have been a bunch of other videos, so make sure that you check out all the other videos. And um, there have been a bunch of other videos, so make sure that you check out all the other videos. Sorry, it seems like we have a little echo. Sorry, it seems like we have a little echo. There we go. I think I fixed it. I think it was on my end. Sorry about that. Uh, so we're part of a whole other series uh, for the homemade Thanksgiving, and there's a lot more videos to check out as well as a couple more tomorrow, so we hope you'll check those out as well. Angie, do you want me to go ahead and set our timer? Sure. Go ahead. So we've got a timer to show you that we are doing this really in 10 minutes or less. So here we go. You can see 10 minutes on the clock. Um, Angie, what are you working on today? I'm going to take some clear plates I got from the Dollar Tree, and then these leaf boy leaves that I also found in the Dollar Tree, and I have two different varieties. And I'm going to be using Mod Podge to put these on the back of these plates, so you can use them to put your, um, say, cookies for Thanksgiving or anything else that you wanted for your Thanksgiving. So, Carolina, what are you going to do? Um, well, I've already started cutting out some fall colored scrapbook paper into roughly like a teardrop shape and what I'm making is this guy he's already finished this is a wine bottle and he is dressed up like a little turkey so he's got little turkey feathers and if you look at his little face he's got um, a little red ribbon here for his um, wattle and then a little beak and some googly eyes for the top and He's quick and easy to put together. I already cut out um, four of these feathers. Just free-handed it. They're rough. It's fine. Um, and I'll need a total of five, so I just need to pick one other color of craft paper here to cut out my fifth. Jesus color. And I'm actually using a, um, an outdoor mod size. And that way, these plates are going to be hand wash only, so you can just sort of wash the front. But if you do get um, just a drop of water on the back, just the outdoor mod pod, it should help protect it. That's smart. Thank you. So I put my leaves on the back of the plate. And I always hear people say they have trouble with mod pods, and they actually make this great roller that you can actually press down to your project and make it get ready to. I'm going to see if propping myself up will make this easier for you to see. <laughs> and I'm going to um, just put a couple, I would recommend say the red coats on the back, and I won't have time for that, um, including dry time today, but I'll, we'll do one coat and we should be good. So I'm just using regular double stick tape, and I'm taping it right onto my wine bottle. Uh, this is a great hostess gift if you're going to Thanksgiving dinner at someone else's house, you always ask what can I bring and they always say oh nothing I've got it covered if they say that the, to me that means um, bring pie or bring wine if it's Thanksgiving um, if you're not a wine drinker this works equally well with um, cider just regular apple cider um, the sparkling cider bottles and you can dress up a couple of those because it is so quick and easy to do so I already put one on here and then I just added two more pieces of double stick tape in a V so I can quick and easy just attach my other tail feathers here. Okay. So I already have my lace on. And I have one part of my part on the back. 
So as a bonus, I have all these leaves left over from that pack from the Dollar Tree. This is just two packs and they're everywhere. I'm going to use some battery powered candles and I'm going to tie these on for a centerpiece collection. Oh, pretty. All right, Angie, it looks like we're four minutes into our crafting already. So four minutes in, and my turkey already has his little tail already done, so now I need to work on his face. So what I'm doing is just taking a piece of red ribbon, and I'm tying it on for his waddle. It makes it a little festive. Simple double knot. Then I cut my ends of my ribbon here at an angle. Just because I always think it looks prettier when it's cut at an angle. If you got really fancy, you could kind of round them, round the edges so that it looked more like an actual waddle. But that's going to be my little waddle there. And then I'm just going to take a corner of my paper here to use for his beak. Um, and I came up with a little way to kind of get this to look a little more three-dimensional than just slapping on a triangular piece of yellow paper. Um, I'm using scrapbook paper for this, by the way, um, but you don't have to use like scrapbook quality paper for this at all. Um, just any yellow construction paper. It doesn't have to be acid for your archival. So what I did is I took my triangle and I folded down the two edges to make a square. And then I'm going to unfold them and cut these two triangle pieces off. And then I'm going to cut about halfway up and across. So that I have some space in the back because the one, the neck of the wine bottle is so rounded that I want to make sure I've got lots of um, space there for that. And then when I fold, so you can see when I take my little beak and I fold them in half, and I fold these two pieces in, I've got a space for my double stick tape right where my finger is, and I've still got a rounded, I've still got a three-dimensional looking-ish beak. So I'm going to go ahead and throw some double stick on there. Angie, what are you working on? So do you think your project is simple enough for kids to help as well? Um, I definitely think that kids could help with the taping on of the, um, the tail feathers. That would be fun. Um, I know if my son was up here, he would be wanting to help with that, absolutely. <laughs> um, with the little tail feathers. So I'm just going to double stick my beak right on there. My double stick will stay today. So I just took some twine and tied these paper lace -like lays on these candles. Um, and again, these battery powered candles, you don't have to worry about the flame and the paper being close to one another. Not a problem at all. And then I found it. a splatter at the thrift store today. I put um, those candles on there and maybe a pumpkin and you would have a matching centerpiece for the place center. Oh, how cute. I'm going to finish up my product here with these googly eyes. These are actually really cute googly eyes. They have little kind of eyelashes on them. So I love them. They're not just your regular googly eyes. And they're awesome because they are sticky back googly eyes. So I don't need any glue or anything. I just stick them right on my wine bottle. Uh, this isn't a permanent craft, obviously, because the um, it's meant to be give, gifted as a hostess gift. And then um, obviously the wine, hopefully, if you picked a good wine, will be um, imbibed. And so there we have our little turkey face. Where'd you get the eyes, Caroline? Um, I got the eyes at um, consumercrafts.com. They have tons of googly eyes. They were super super cheap. I had all different kinds of googly eyes. Um, we're kind of googly eye fanatics in this household, so um, can never go wrong with a pack of googly eyes. <laughs> Now, I'm going to hold up our timer. Angie and I actually, Angie finished two crafts. I finished my wine bottle. And if you look, we have just about two minutes left on our clock. So we did pretty good yeah. today. 
Yeah, we did. And actually, usually when we do craft lightning, we don't count dry time. And um, yeah, my plates are not dry at all, but they will be before Thanksgiving, right? <laughs> Oh, absolutely. I think that it counts if you can get your craft done in 10 minutes and then walk away. If it still needs to dry, um, if it needs to cure, if it needs to sit, that doesn't matter because that's not any part of your active time. You sit down, 10 minutes later you are done with your craft, um, even if you can't use it until tomorrow. So I definitely think that that, that counts. Okay. So I hope you all enjoyed our craft lightning today. And we're actually, this is not just a Thanksgiving thing for us. We're planning some more of these. So, um, Follow along with us on Google Plus, and um, you can see all of our craft lightning 10 minute events. Absolutely, and I look forward to crafting with you again, Angie. Okay, thanks. Bye. And there's our timer. <laughs> Bye. Bye.